and thanks for joining me for Just Draw with Andy Live. We're going to have some fun drawing. Here I'll go slowly with this one and you can see how you want to draw different positions, creating that feeling of motion in a still. So for example, this one, we're going to take a very simple panda and we're going to move this little chap over here and we're not going to just draw the panda sitting with his arms down by his side we're going to give him some motion this time so we've kept previous drawings very very simple and to build up your confidence and we're going to do the same with this panda so a little upside down sort of heart and a little U and then we're going to do a little circle like that. I hope you're doing this at home. And then some panda ears. And they're not really circle, they're sort of more oval like that. So there we have a very simple face on picture of a panda. And then we're going to draw his body. But this time we're going to have his arms behind his back or maybe put his arm up like that color that in very simple shapes and let's have him uh, dancing okay so we'll have him dancing so now there's a little bit of motion and a bit of a story and that's what makes well cartooning very interesting and it makes any image just gives it a bit of a twist so I'm going oh I think I've got a message uh, oh thank you someone's just said it's very cute I'm just gonna draw now a little bit more of an ornate um, version of this panda so let's take it at a different angle All right so let's put him slightly on an angle and I'm going to draw a horse for you in a minute and um, a snowman and then I'm just going to show you how you can do the circle a little bit off and then the ears again and then this ear we're going to bring a little bit forward so now he's looking in that direction and shall we make him, I don't know, let's have him on his iPhone because he's bored. Because pandas are on iPhones. And then we'll have his hand like this. And his shoulder coming over a little bit. And because he likes to lounge around, because we know pandas love to do nothing all day. And we'll give him his tail. And then we'll have him with his feet crossed. There we go. So now he's not so much moving, but telling a story. So I'm going to bring his leg down a bit so you can adjust things as you want to tell the story. So there he is. I could even put a shadow under him. How's that? So now we've got a bit of detail. Now we have a real story and let's imagine, maybe he's on Tinder because he's, you know, pandas, they're always trying to pair them off with another panda. So there we go. Actually that might help pandas reproduce if they got into Tinder. Okay, so I'm going to move on, oh here we go, we've got the panda actually in motion so I can show you a little bit of how we do that so is any fun so let's go back to the first still and I'll draw our panda for you but this time he's dancing all right so here we go so we're gonna again we let me make that line a bit smaller we're going to do his nose and we now know how to draw slightly on an angle. So we've got that 
circle and then the ears and let's put his paws up like that one arm two arms big fat belly tail and then he's kind of doing the splits so let me get rid of all the lines and you can see our panda is dancing and it doesn't have to be a male panda so I'll stick a tutu on this one and all these little details it's beauty of art is that you can interpret how you want your panda to look so we're now going to make this panda a girl and a tutu So there's our panda, and let's show him dancing again. And the beauty of this sort of animation is that we can also set it up so it looks like this is the same panda, but it could be several pandas all dancing behind each other, and that's a lot of fun. Uh, we've also I've created um, a background to make it a bit more dreamy and surreal because we don't see pandas dancing so there's no rules that's the beauty of creativity no rules we love that okay i've got another dancing one now this is a lady in motion ballet dancing and any of these i could take and make into a beautiful painting of a ballerina so if she's just standing still that wouldn't really show that she's a dancer so we have we can have a lot of fun with this sort of thing as you can see it's just one sketch after another and it's a lot of fun this is a horse running see how many different positions a horse runs in very exciting shall we do the legs like this horses feet are coming together and the tail sometimes moves in a different way as well so this time that hoof is further in and if you want to exaggerate you can always put some shadow on there and why don't we add some I don't know This horse in the wild west. There we go. So, what other animals can we do? Ah, not an animal. I'm going to draw for you a snowman because that's what we were doing the first animation. And here we have a classic snowman. And going to give him a little bit more life. And you see how I'm using his hands and his feet. They're all very expressive. There we go. So now we've got our snowman. I would have to, if I was animating, I'd have to draw probably 140 of those movements. Each one counts, so you're, um, if you've got a lot of patience, which I think we all do at the moment, then this would be a great little project. Mm -hmm.